My name's Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm heading and this is where I am now. I've run 13,972 kilometres so far and I've got 2,561 left to go. So far on the mission. I've survived alone in the desert, a robbery at gunpoint, near death in the jungle, a brutal crash, horror infested waters, malnutrition, sickness and injuries and raised £206,000 for charity. In this episode, I make my final push across Mauritania as I attempt to cross the Algerian border, reunite the team, no, no, no. and reach tarmac once more. Where are you, Gosh? Yeah, good. Just got some visit of two Saharian people. Yeah, I heard. You know what they're doing here? Yeah? Gold. Looking for fing gold. Surely, I think he said goats, no? Surely he's not just driving about looking for gold. Well, yesterday I was seeing people digging sand in a random spot in the middle of nowhere and put yeah, it into like bags. Too. We should have asked him if we can go with him. I want some gold too. Yeah, please. Good thing. Everybody knows border regions with a lot of gold are always safe. I strode out onto the sand determined to make some headway on my final push towards the Algerian border. Meanwhile, Gus had an important question. Where were you searching for? Goats or gold? Gold, gold. 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 The lower. Bismillah. Thank all my friends for giving me some tea and dates. <laughs> Guys are just showing me some pictures of not only gold but also meteorites that they, they found here in the desert. Looks beautiful. Wow. <laughs> gold, the law, you see. This is one of the gold nuggets that they found here, mining in this spot. Look at that size, that's like, imagine finding a nugget like this. Incredible. The, the last nugget was more than 800 grams. As Gus chilled out with his new goat mining friends, I was approaching the first stop. Russ, do you already know what this is? Do you, have you figured out what it is? Still not. No. I heard you have like a lot of followers, maybe we should ask them. How far do you reckon you can throw it? Twice as far as you. Further than me, yeah? I reckon you can throw it further than me as well. <laughs> That. Probably not. Oh, come on, I'm not very good in trying things. <laughs> wow, nice. Yeah, I get it. That's enough. Go back to running now. Please. Having achieved the peak of my career, I was fresh out of excuses not to run, to drag myself back into the thick of it. This had been an unbelievably tough month, but I could hear the faint call of tarmac on the horizon. It was nearly over. Yo. Yo. How was the terrain? Uh, mostly sh and then right at the, I feel like the last 5k is unbelievable. I don't know if you drove across it, it was like lovely, smooth, almost like marble. It's been teasing me. Ready for that tarmac again. Not tomorrow, but the day after. The military fortress, they were like still able to load guns at midnight, so why wouldn't the Algerian border be able to stamp our passports at midnight? Weird things have happened. I remember in Guinea they stamped our passports like at a stupid time. True. Like really late, wasn't it? Guinea was like up and about, stamping our passports. And that was on like Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, it actually was, wasn't it? Christmas Eve. I don't even know what time that was. Oh, and then, as soon as we hit tarmac, it's really time to crank that mileage. How much are you going to do? 71 in theory, but I've got to make it like a 75, really. Algeria today, Gus. Algeria today. Got my Algeria shot off. Did you read the new message of the boys? Border was closed for us when we arrived at 9pm. Had to wait until we got at 9am. Motherfuckers. Alright. We need to get there before 9pm then. Might even close earlier than that. 
close to like six. Are we going to stay in Tindouf tonight, do you reckon? No. No. Camp out, just past the border, innit? No. How many k's away is it? About 48, I think. I'll do 24 and 24. Now it's going to take me. Stop being a puss. <laughs> Start like properly running. Not like that, that hinkle around that you do, but like use some bolt, you know? <laughs> right. See you later. The race was on. The Algerian border was calling, but I still had over a marathon to go, and time was not on my side. Being late for the border would cost me hours the next day. Every kilometre dropped would dramatically add to my daily average if I wanted to make it to the finish on April the 7th. There was no room for error anymore. Did you see that ghost town? Yeah, I did. I think now it's another ghost town. I go sound it's probably more like a ghost military base. What was that? Uh, well they filled up in a lot of ammunition boxes with sand, probably one time to make a fortified thing. And there were some ruins, some deep sand. It's all good. The border is 23k away or something. You still think you can get there before uh, they close? Well it all depends on what time they close really, isn't it? Cool. See you in a bit. After a short break, I pushed on as hard as my body could take, plowing through sand as the untouched desert finally became peaced. The sun began to set, but on the horizon I saw it. This was a monumental moment for the mission. This border had been the crux of the mission since the idea was first had, and reaching it after nearly 11 months on the road was surreal. But had we made it in time? So how are you actually everything imagining? Because I already had to do like 75 Ks from now on to like make it in time to Indonesia. Yeah, and now we have another delay because we're waiting at the border because the, the Algerians need time to prepare an escort for us. And it's already late, so they don't want to stamp us now. Yeah, so it's going to be running a lot in the next month. Is <laughs> what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, mate. It's going to be intense. Can't wait. I had like Ross and like good shape for like a week. I guess it's it's gonna get f soon again. Nah, I will be probably returning to zombie mode. Don't speak and just run and just lie down and then run again and then lie down and run again. Well, actually, do you know what I maybe foolishly uh, I'm counting on a little bit? Is it looks like the route we're taking is going closer to the Atlas Mountains, which in theory, if it's a northerly wind, might block it. Actually, might block the wind. Bit. So how did the border post go down? Not as well as we'd hoped. They, they're all very friendly and very nice, but they did take a while to get things going. And then by the time they'd half got their stuff together, they told us, ah, it's too late now. Come back in the morning. Apparently the other people that were actually behind us in line, um, one of the guys was like very sick. So they did him first, so he just could cross the border since he was in rough shape. They were like, Algeria needs half a day to get the escort together because you guys cannot just travel freely. And we're like, but we're like invited by the president. And we're like, that's exactly why you need to wait. Where's well, that lovely police escort taking us, and It's taking us to the boys. To the boys. Our holiday, I mean, work trip. Yeah, yeah. Over. A lot of work. I bet you got any no play, that's my motto. Exactly. Yeah, they finally arrived at the border, haven't they? Yeah, we've brought them some cakes after their long stretch in the desert and their long stretch of, yeah. Yeah, well done, you <laughs> I don't know, what was they saying? Brought them some cakes. Hopefully we can cheer them. I don't think we're going to cheer them up. I think they probably enjoyed not having us around. It goes both ways, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, let's head to the border. After being separated for a week, each of us battling for our own nightmarish problems, we were finally united. Not in person, but with the only thing that matters. So the boys brought us some cakes. Oh, what, the boys hit? Yeah, yeah, that's how I got the order. Oh, right. Some lovely cakes. Oh, yeah. And uh, just had a conversation with uh, the police. Yeah. They were like really trying to push us, like, we were like hoping that he can maybe like start running from Tindouf. You tell them not. I tell them I'm really, really sorry, but like it's kind of part of the world record. It starts from here mm -hmm. to do every meter on foot. 
Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay, okay, okay. Got my new sleeves on today, would you? Nice. Actually. So you're protecting like this part, and then for this part you say like, doesn't it. Yeah, doesn't yeah. need it, yeah. Doesn't just care, yeah. Well, they're literally just waiting for me now then. Everybody's waiting for Everybody. you, as I understand. Okay. This is the, the worst part about getting this, but it's just so many people wait. And I just like to chill out so I feel good. I'm not, I'm not too be Indonesian right now. <laughs> <laughs> The border was a long, arduous process, but I was finally through. As my feet hit the tarmac, I felt a new wave of strength return. There's still a monumental distance to go, 2,000 kilometers through desert and mountains. Mauritania had been incredible, with the most extreme ups and downs of the mission, but this party keeps on rolling, and this was the home straight. Algeria, bring it on. What were you asking for? Perfect. So our uh, friendly manager of the hotel a is asking for a perfect tat. Yeah, every day I see a rosa drink. I need one. I can't wait one year, I go too long. <laughs> Which flavor do you like? They're not cold lime, yet? Lime, lime, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's not, not lime, it's ananas. Ah, ananas will like. It's a natural energy drink. So it's a ah, little bit, drink. it's a little bit like Red Bull, but then healthy. Oh, okay. Strong man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Best energies in England, in world. Perfect, the best one in the world. Yeah. But you sent in Algeria perfect, okay? <laughs> because I love it. Chef cook. Cook, cook yeah. Couscous. 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 Tonight you eat traditional food. Uh, amazing. Couscous. Algerian traditional food. Couscous. You know couscous? Yeah, I love couscous. Okay. I'm, I can't wait to try the Algerian couscous. Okay, inshallah. Inshallah. inshallah figured out how to use this watch even more and it's actually unbelievable. I could just set a point and it would just calculate the straight line route, nearest route, and then like I could keep the map and me on the watch. So like every time I went off route or anything, it would tell me exactly how many meters off the route I am, what direction I need to go, where my bearing is at all time and like how far off it is and everything. So like it made my life so much easier because if I didn't have this, Being on back in the day, it would have been a map and a compass. I mean, yeah. There's like literally nothing to get your bearings off. I would have been well dead if it weren't for a... Cheers, Garmin. If you fancy sponsoring us, let us know. I'm really dead. I'm properly dead. <laughs> Notification is peeking through now. Oh, mate. Oh. Oh. Back to the desert, is oh. it? <laughs> oh. 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 Well, let's just relax for a moment. That's like two weeks from no signal I've had. Maybe even more, actually. I was thinking my phone would look like that. But... Mum. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're okay. <laughs> You're gonna have such a like culture shock in reverse going to Hindu hey. pizza restaurants. Everything's open late. Like loads of people, shops, technology, everything. Oh, mate, we walked to the hotel and the owner was like, "Oh, you're the guys from YouTube." <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were playing hardest geezer on the hotel lobby TV for like three <laughs> days straight. So he's very excited to see you. Desert mileage was out the window and the new regime was in. It was 73k from the border to the hotel and I was determined to push it out despite the late start. The thought of a shower and warm food though, after two weeks without, was enough motivation to carry me to Tindu. This is little milk. That's it. Finest some people have gathered. Dutch boys love bit milk. Little okay. milk with, uh, with, uh, with dates. Algerian dates. Algerian make the best yeah, dates, eh? Yeah, best dates yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah. 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 This is olive oil Ooh, okay. from Algeria, yeah. original. We're putting the milk? Yeah. No, no, no. No! <laughs> no. No, no, no. With couscous. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> couscous also is uh, Algerian food. Welcome to Algeria. Paradise. <laughs> Thank you, man. We are watching this video here. Mm. We haven't been able to get visas for Algeria. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your first time in Algeria? Yeah. Very excited to be here. I'm gonna run through, but then I think I'm gonna come back. Oh, you need to, you need to come yeah, back? I'm gonna come back. Yeah. You but explore holiday. Oran and Alger and yeah, yeah. Constantine yeah. and Neva. Also, Tamaraset is very good. Yeah. I need to see it more. Yeah, it's delicious. It's really famous. Something around. Well done. Well, this looks amazing. How did you find the meal? I think 
I'm sure that everything tastes yeah. delicious after mm. your uh, adventure. Um, Let's go. Best like, food in Algeria. Best couscous in the world. Yeah. Really? <laughs> we are eating the finest couscous in the world yeah. here in Algeria. Let's see if Chef Morat, best chef in the world. Thank you so much. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> chef. Today was a very beautiful day because uh, we had those adventurers. <laughs> yes? <laughs> And now you are in our second country. And Morad is saying that with all my heart, I love you guys. I want to hug him, but I'm giving you a handshake. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We feel the love. Wakey, wakey, motherfuckers! Go fucking running! That's your whole thing, you remember? Yeah, I did seven. I did extra last night, so I could You didn't do extra, you did like just enough. I can't call it the extra because it started at like 1 p.m. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, you got no. Nice. Good boy. Mmm. Empty. I was overwhelmed by the incredible hospitality of Algeria. I was sad to leave the comfort of the hotel and these incredible people, but the tarmac was cooling and with Gus's words ringing in my ear, I hit the fresh smooth tarmac. For this stretch, the Algerian police would be escorting us, which could have been massively problematic, but somehow, for guys with huge AK-47s, they were incredibly chill. <laughs> what is your name again? Benzerga. Benzagan. Suya. Benzerga. Benzerga. Rus, say, Ben, Ben, Zer, Zer, Go, Ka, Ben Zer, Go, Ben Zer, Ka. My Arabic's not so good. <laughs> <laughs> what is your job exactly? What do you do for work? Uh, gendarme. So military police. Military police, yes. It's my daughter. My is my son. Oh, wow. Very handsome son. <laughs> like you. <laughs> <laughs> do you love Algeria? Very bien. Very good. Say Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yes. 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 It's good. Mm. Well, I've seen the good rules. I am back. Good luck, Cruz. Good luck. Good luck. It seemed that Algeria was going to greet us with kindness and support at every corner. Support I'd need if I was to pull off the insane mileage ahead of me. Even the police were surprised. Another 35. Yes. You have to stay with us. Yeah, yeah. Another group will uh, come uh, to replace us. Okay. We will spend the night with you. I'm just asking uh, about. Uh, yeah. So I'll do from here about 37 kilometers, but I don't. Yeah. I don't do another stop. Okay. So if you just, stop. just drop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you will take a rest about uh, one hour. About 40 minutes, one 40, hour. 40 minutes, one hour. Yeah. Then you will continue. I'll continue. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, sir. How's the route today? Tarmac's not fair, it's just, it's, it's been pretty, the sun's been pretty intense I think today. Can't really bitch about it too much to be fair, it's just got a bit I don't know if these, uh, I think these peach flavours are now live in the UK. I'm actually a big fan of the peach. I'd say it's number two for me. That poor raspberry number one. Okay, there's no turnings or anything is there? Don't think for the next few thousands of kilometers. Good while before there's even a town. It should be uh, even a while before there's even a town or anything. So. Wow, yeah. I don't know about you, but I kind of had this idea that we, because we've got to Algeria and like there's tarmac roads and like there's loads of things here and stuff. It's like, oh, it's kind of the end of the Sahara. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not even close. So. No, no, it's the end is like really close to the ocean. We're basically still in the Sahara for like at least like a thousand k. Well, I'll see you in a bit, boss. As I ran on into the sunset for my final leg of the day, I thought about what lay ahead. I've been through hell just to get here. 14,000 kilometers of brutal mountains, plains, jungle, rainforest and desert, but there's no room to relax. I still had over 2,000 kilometers of Sahara Desert to push through and just 32 days left to do it. It wasn't over yet. 